All right, guys, it's Saturday morning. Uh, I am hitting the streets once again. Right now, I'm headed to North Phoenix, which I haven't done in a while. I sold the pot that we bought in the prior week that was thrown into that uh, garage sale where I bought the skateboard and everything. I also sold the umbrella by itself that was put in the patio set and package that I put together. Now, normally I wouldn't uh, take the umbrella out of the kind of package that I put together, but they were paying pretty much retail for the umbrella. I'm getting a little weary of my uh, my strategy here of buying a whole nother patio set, um, you know, for 150 bucks to get the cushions for, so now I have two patio sets and I can't get rid of either one because <laughs> one is, one is, uh, you know, a little older, <clears throat> even with the paint job that I have on it, that's new, there's no rust. The style of the patio set I'm thinking is stopping people from making the purchase, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm ridiculously impatient when it comes to making sales. Like, if I'm not making a sale, like, within the first 48 hours, I've done something wrong, is how I feel about it. You know, that's not normal. I kind of have worked my way up to this. We're still gonna get our money back, at least. We're still gonna make a profit, but it's not gonna be as big as I would, would have liked it to have been. I mean, there's been times in the past where I've bought patio sets uh, for $10 and happen to get new cushions and flip them for $200, uh, you know, where the overall investment was like 30 bucks or something like that. Another time I bought a patio set for 200 bucks, and then it was in excellent condition and I immediately sold it for five, oh, close to $500, so $400. $75. The flips are out there, man. This one required a lot of effort, and I don't know how I'm feeling about it. <laughs> Currently, I'm sitting at a $208 investment for two patio sets. Um, but now I'm looking to hopefully get back $350. So the amount of effort um, I put into it, it wasn't worth it. But if we can get more, if we can get 200, I'd say it, it would probably be worth it. It's just a numbers game, man. You, you just gotta go out there and um, make these purchases. And even the ones that don't play out, you learn lessons from. And the more inventory you have, the more potential value you have as well. Don't be afraid to make these purchases because um, the more stuff that you have, you know, the more sales you can make. And if you get to a point where you feel like you're hoarding, or you feel like, man, I, I just, this stuff isn't selling, or, you know, you get into that situation where you feel like you're stuck, guess what? Have a garage sale and then liquidate your, your items and make all your money back. And th this is the game I've been playing. And it's consistently um, positive net income. Like you're gonna consistently make money no matter what, even with your mistakes. Gotta remind myself not to get, you know, too down. Uh, but right now, um, I'm just by my lonesome, so I'm heading up the, uh, the freeway to, uh, and I know I say not to do this, to drive on the freeway on, on these sorts of days, but there's uh, a particular group of garage sales I'm trying to get to to start the day because it's a lot, already a little late. It's 8 a.m., so I want to get to these garage sales first and then make my way back down south to where I live. So let's get it going, baby. Let's make those dollars. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not sold yet. Would you do 40 on it? Yeah. Okay. 
Here you go. Welcome. First sale of the day. Of course, I come up on a fucking patio set instantly. And uh, it's a pretty good one, and I nabbed it for 40 bucks. It's in good shape. I'm really not gonna have much, uh, really don't have to do much work to it other than a quick paint job, and I think I could flip it easy, and we'll see. This is a nice one. No fucking joke. Here to go. <laughs> so, the, all right, so, so this, this is the one, thing, yeah. Sorry. Do you have the uh, propane doesn't go with it. Okay. The, the tank does not go with it. Mind if I this has to go back to the. All right. So you want fifty for this? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see if I want anything okay. else out here. Okay, so I just came to a great garage sale with my new good friend, Eddie. And uh, Eddie is moving. His house is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see this house. But I um, just wanna say congratulations to them on their move. Um, I'm happily taking their old patio set. And we I bought their old patio set and a heater of theirs for um, $90 total. Thanks for that. How's the rest of your garage sale been going? It's so far so good. We just have some leftover items, but it's been going pretty good so far. Yeah? Yeah. We do have a bed inside, but that's already been sold. We're just waiting for the person to come pick it up. Oh, perfect. Uh, and a nightstand, and that's it. Great. It'll be just this stuff, and that's... We're done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons learned from your, from your garage sale today? Um, not really, because we've... I mean, not that we've done it before, but we've gone garage selling ourselves before, so yeah. we kind of know, picked up some, some tips in the past. Yeah. Start early. Start early. Prep the night before. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably one of the better tips that I can give you is prep the night before because a lot of people tend to start putting their stuff up that day. Right. And scrambling with pricing and things of that nature. So definitely start the night before. And no problems with COVID? I mean, people are still coming out? Nope. Everybody's been wearing their masks. A few here and there mm -hmm. not wearing it, but they haven't really come close. So Great. we have our sanitizer. So nope, not, nothing like that at all. Everybody's been very respectful. So. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks, Eddie. Thank I'm going to strap this stuff up, but thank you guys so much. Absolutely. Have All a right. good one. You as well. All right, let's strap it up. Whew. You know, I was all pouty and mad, and now I'm not anymore. That was the jackpot. Um, so the patio table that we just got, really, really good condition chairs. I mean, those are the comfy chairs. I got good uh, cushions and the table, just with a little bit of paint, will be a good flip. And then he called me back to his backyard and was like, hey, I have this uh, um, heater. Now, heaters obviously are not needed right now in Phoenix, Arizona. It is, you know, over 110 degrees right now. But buying those things off season is a brilliant move because if you hold on to that baby and sell it in winter time, I mean, I, so I bought it with a planter box for 50 bucks. Of course, because you always gotta up the value, throw in the planter box. And uh, I bought it for 50 and the thing retails for like $500. So I'm sure I'll be able to at least quadruple my money on that one, so. Very excited. I mean, I could just call it a day right now. It's, it, this is one of those things where when you hit it out of the park on the first garage sale, you're just chasing that high for the rest of the day. So I'm still gonna garage sale, but I doubt anything is gonna be that lucrative. So thanks to Eddie and uh, his partner and congratulations on the new house that they're buying. And I will happily take your stuff and sell it for hopefully a profit so I can buy a house too. Maybe this is why. Hi there. This stuff is. Um, would you do five for two of these? No. Yeah, I'll just do the one then. Cool. 
Here you go, man. All right, brother. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All righty, have a good one. You too. Thanks for stopping by. Yep. Dropping my GoPro. That's the punishment I get for shopping for myself again. Who doesn't need another fruit tree? I mean, my house certainly does. Last <laughs> so. well, sale of the day. Looks like a really super nice house. Patio set. Looks like I came here too late. Did a good job of pricing everything. Looks like I came a little too late to that one. That uh, guy was buying a the only thing I would have bought was, um, you know, maybe the, the couch or something like that, but it was just way too, way too highly priced. But I saw that he had one piece of information I'm walking away with there is he had the same uh, heaters that I had. And he, I saw it in his ad that uh, he sold them. And I asked him how much he sold them for, and he said 220 for both of them so that gives me a good idea of what I'm gonna be able to sell my uh, new heater for so good news there got sweat in my eyes it is fucking hot and uh, I'm gonna take you through the things that I bought today so first of all first sale I went to boom I saw this baby how could I pass up another patio table now I have three in my inventory but this one it was a great deal so they wanted 50 there was a bunch of people at the garage sale, so my leverage was kind of out the window, so I just negotiated for 40, which again is a great deal. Thank you, Eddie. Um, the paint is a little bit scuffed up. We're gonna need to put another black coat of paint on it, and uh, the bottom needs some new uh, ground separators, I guess you could call them, and that will be a couple bucks. Cushions also need to be washed because they're a little bit dusty and gross, but they can fit in a washing machine, so that's money. Then he was like, oh, I have uh, a heater. I was like, all right, I'm down to look at it. And this is a high-end heater, that's for sure. This thing um, retails for $500 around, a little bit over 500, and can definitely sell this for a decent amount of coin because I got it for 50 bucks and had him throw in the pot. Hashtag throw in the pot. Always add value always add value if they're saying, oh, I, I, I can only do 50 on this, which he said, he's like, I'm not gonna go any lower than 50. I'm like, all right, will you add a pot? He added the pot. So after that garage sale, next one, uh, I got these two backpacks. Uh, I got them both for 20 bucks together. Uh, this North Face is really nice. This is, uh, you know, it's got a solid back. It's meant for backpacking, so it holds a ton of stuff. Um, and I'll be able to sell this one definitely for more than 20, but I got both. The other one's a little bit smaller. And then this thing, I needed a fruit tree in my house, so I said, treat yourself to a fruit tree. It was a great day of garage sailing, so it's August 1st. Whew, hot day once again in Arizona, but spent, let's see, overall $115 today. Looking to do a lot better than that when I flip all this stuff, so. We'll keep you updated on the coming posts. Hopefully I can sell some of these gosh darn patio tables because that, now I have way too many. Let's get it. Special surprise inside the backpack that they didn't know. Let's see what we got, Mitch. Oh my fucking God. I'll give you all my money, please. Don't hurt me. What the hell is this thing? Jesus. Damn. Could fillet someone. Try not to get caught on a plane with that. 